Okay, so real quick, I want to do a video uh, to showcase an issue that uh, Kevin uh, advised me that he ran into while trying to uh, follow the tutorial that I uh, created on uh, syncing the Machina Micro to Reason as a controller. Now, as you see, I just opened up a uh, session and uh, everything is working fine. Uh, I'm going to skip um, from toggling over here for a minute. And there's a reason why. Um, what I found out through some troubleshooting is and I'm, I'm, I'm using my hand to uh, switch screens um, because I only got one hand because I'm holding the camera in the other. But uh, hold on, I hit racks. Uh, and I go into sequencer mode. You can see that this is highlighted, uh, which is, is my uh, my DK1 for my samples. And then I can drop down, highlight this, and it switches back and forth, right? So both of them are, are um, uh, clickable in order for me to use them um, for a, a signal. However, if I go from rack mode and let's say highlight here, you get the signal, it's playing. But when I go over here to uh, do the same, it does it, right? It'll do it. It's working just fine. Go back. It's working just fine. So tell me why. That's on the old session. But tell me why on a new session, I start up bring a Kong in, uh, load up something, no signal, don't know what's up. Uh, this is not something that will require me to, let's say, create a template or anything like that because prior to updating to 9.1, I didn't have to do that. Uh, the only time that I would have to, let's say, create templates um, is if I want to control settings like this um, because I'm not using my P1, um, my Nectar P1 on, on this setup over here. So like if I want certain knob features to be set up or like if I want to use it for um, for my uh, for the transport or something like that. But just for it to be set up as the controller, everything should be set up just fine, especially when you're using your um, your uh, native instruments controller editor. So I don't know what the heck the issue could be. Um, and like I say, it's just kind of weird that that it's um, that it's happening this way. And it's kind of annoying because, like I said, it should be it should be working, uh, no doubt. And let's say if I make the mistake of doing something like this, but I come back down um, and let me show you, because I don't know if I if I got it on camera, because I'm, like I say, I'm not really looking. But um, come back down and hit it again. It's there. Uh, but it's it's like it's off and on because I, I did it before I, I created the video just troubleshooting and it kept switching back and forth. So I don't know what the heck is up. But as you can see, if I create a new file that wasn't created prior, I mean, that what that what, if I do a file that was created after I up, d updated to uh, 9.1, it doesn't seem to work. This file was just created on 9.0. And also, um, and saved on 9.0. And then also, I don't know if it um, has anything to do with, let's say, operating system. I haven't updated to uh, Sierra yet. I'm still on uh, El Capitan. So um, that, that can't be an issue because it was working fine on El Capitan. So any feedback, um, let me know because I don't know. But um, like I say, it's just kind of off and on. Sometimes it'll let me go back and forth. Sometimes it won't. But... Um, the actual tutorial that I created for this to work, it does work just fine. But for whatever reason, this thing is tripping right now. So uh, that's what's up. I'm out. That was, I guess, the FaceTime for the day. It wasn't a happy FaceTime, but that's what's up. Late.